Hi everyone, it's Cassie and we are back with another plan with me. I haven't done one in a while. I've only done like one total, but it's been very busy and very hectic. Um, so I have not really been planning ahead. So today we're going to be using this kit. It's from the Planner Society box, but it's got these like flamingos and palm trees. And um, I do live in Miami, so in Florida, so I guess that's like, you know. Theme. So we're going to be planning from July 9th to July 15th. Um, here's a little pre-planning sheet. This is from Justenia Printables. And I'm just going to go through what's in the kit. And these are also the washies that come with the kit, by the way. If you subscribe to the washi and the stickers and like everything. So we have these eight boxes and there's a checklist and four little hearts. We've got these headers, some bows and flags and deco. And these two labels I guess and some icons these checklists and um, like check boxes type thing so I think you end up with like four checklists and half boxes quarter boxes and some washi strips so I think in total you end up with like four of these checklists um, I don't really I'm not a huge fan of like a clipboard checklist so I won't be using this sheet and I'll just be pulling in from my stash. I don't really know a whole lot of what I'll be doing other than work. So right now, I they let us leave work early because tomorrow is 4th of July. Today is actually the 3rd, which is like Tuesday. So they let us leave work early. So my son is asleep. I picked him up from daycare. My husband is asleep, so I'll be playing. Um, I pulled these day covers from Rose Colored Days. I don't have the date dots. Um, I don't want to write it in because my handwriting is terrible, so I'm just gonna like make myself rose colored, rose colored days, rose rose gold foiled numbers, and I'll just put them in afterwards. But I don't really know which one I wanted to use. This color seems to match the most, so I guess we'll probably be doing that one. But I'm probably just gonna white out the numbers first. By the way, I went into this with like zero plans. I'm a terrible planner person sorry if I have the sniffles I don't know if I'm like I've just been congested and I don't know why so what did we say we're gonna be using these So I was watching, we don't really celebrate holidays, um, not really because of any religious beliefs or anything like that, we just don't ever have the time and you know everyone's always busy and stuff like that and my husband and I are like homebodies, we barely go to people's birthdays, that's not my fault, I think that's kind of mean but he just never wants to go. But I was watching um, Viv Loves to Plan and she was talking about how fireworks is just not her forte. I mean, well, not her like thing, like she doesn't really like fireworks all that much. Um, and I can relate actually. My husband's family just, you know, was saying that there's like some fireworks, something at a park, but I don't really like fireworks. I, I think they're kind of like, you know, bad for the environment and they're just loud and I don't know, I don't see the appeal. I mean, I don't hate them if I'm in, like in Disney. And they're there. It's I really, I really won't stop to watch it, but I'm not like oh fireworks. But I don't know. Um, it's just not my thing. So let's see how we're gonna spread these out. Or should we do the bottom washi first? Let's do that. So this kit doesn't really come with bottom washi, but it comes with washi. So I'm just gonna use this like that palm tree one, just because you know, just because. But we're gonna wipe this out because of the style. Of the type of like paper that's used is so thin you can see through it. So I'm not sure I want to use the whole maybe I should do like a half. Eh, whatever, we'll just do this. And I'm really terrible at putting down putting things down like straight I've sort of given up on that life but 
It's alright. I have this slice tool that I got from Amazon. I think the first time I saw this was in a planner sophisticate video. Maybe. Yeah. Watch, I have terrible timing. My husband's probably gonna wake up. He does that. He wakes up like at the worst times when I'm like doing a video. And we share an office in this house, so I hope he just stays asleep for a while longer. There's like no space on my desk for this. I, I was thinking about buying a, another desk to shoot videos like um, and keep my planner on and keep it in my bedroom so that I had some privacy and my husband wasn't making fun of me because he's the worst. I used to make um, video game videos, like um, teach people how to make some video games and I'm still, I still draw, I'm an artist and I create characters and storylines and comic books and all that jazz. And I still do videos on that, but my husband, tends, he's like one of those people that you just can't shoot videos or vlogs in front of because he just makes fun of you and he will just ruin the whole video. Or he'll say something, you know, mean. So, I just, I think I cut right through my paper here. Oh no, I didn't. So, I just can't do videos in front of him. So, I was really thinking about investing in, oh, in a desk. Not, not really like a desk, but like a small table that I could do these videos on because I've been wanting to do them for so long but since he works from home he's always home and when I'm get home you know it's like I have to take care of the baby and cook dinner and all that jazz and then I don't have time and he works till like 3 in the morning so I never have time to shoot a video so we'll see it depends how I am how much I enjoy I do enjoy planning but I haven't recorded myself planning like everything so, I don't know, I guess I'll I'll play it by ear and see how it goes. So, we have two quote boxes. I never really care about having a quote box in, like, the, you know, quote box, I guess. But we have two. So, I don't know if I want to, like, hmm. I guess we'll use this with the little, like, cacti, cactus, cactus, cacti? I'm not sure. And we'll put that up here. And my sidebar always comes out crooked. Like, always. It never fails. That thing comes out crooked every single time. But what can you do? Um, I'm not sure if I took out any. I'm just sort of, you know, looking around. I'm not sure what I would ever use these for. I don't know what people use that for, honestly. So I guess we'll just use washi. We do have this like floral washi. I should have pulled out like weekday headers, but I didn't. Oh, I should uh, wipe that out. So everyone on Etsy is moving to their like standalone websites, which is kind of interesting because of the 5% like price increase Etsy had and I actually just opened my Etsy but I don't know because um, shops like you know Scribble Prints Co and Simply Watercolor Co and all those people that are like have been around forever and everyone knows their shops it's understandable because people are gonna follow that you know because it's people they know in fact I'm like obsessed with Scribble, Scribble Prints Co I think I can fill like three binders with all the stickers I buy but and her website, if you haven't gone on it, I'm gonna link it below, is awesome. Like, and she just started doing foils. Like, it's just awesome, awesome, awesome. So, I don't know. I don't know if I wanna like, I think um, like people were doing on their phones, like a bunch of shops. I don't even know what I'm gonna track in my sidebar, honestly. I should have pulled out like a this week header, but I didn't. Or did I? I don't know what I did anymore. I do like to track my chores, but I didn't pull out, like, um, I didn't pull out, like, a full checklist for that. Maybe I could use one of these clipboards. 
I guess. I can't say that I'm crazy about them, but... I guess I can do this one with the palm trees, or this one. Or the palms, I mean. Alright, we'll just do this one. We'll just go for it and commit. Alright. And then... I pulled these. I don't know where they're from. I think they might be from like a panda box. And I'm just gonna put this little one that says important. And then under that I have these two habit trackers and this is from a honeydew paper shop leftover. It's like from um, like a, what's in March? St. Patrick's Day um, kit. And they're not like the exact same green, but I don't really care. And I need to track my son's medication. I think I mentioned it in a previous video, but then again, I have so many videos that I didn't actually post. So I don't know, I'll say it again. My son has a lot, a lot, a lot of issues. <laughs> a lot of allergies, a lot of skin problems. He's only four months, so I'm still hoping he's gonna grow out of those, but a lot, like a lot. Even the pediatrician was like, wow, that's a lot of issues. But anyway, so he takes a lot of medication, and so sometimes we forget and then he suffers obviously because we forgot i think i want to put one of these little flowers up here even though the washi is like floral but i don't care i still want one so i'm gonna put this little one one thing about her stickers these stickers are that they're so thick like i don't know i'm kind of using these kits just to kind of get rid of them but these weren't really the star of the the box the best things in the box were like the papers probably this is coming out like super crooked i did something something wrong along the way for sure so anyway one is tracking making sure that i put my son's medication on him he has um a medicated steroid cream and um he takes like claritin every day and he also takes like reflux medication every day He's like lactose intolerant, so then he has a special milk, but he's also allergic to that hypoallergenic milk. And then he has to have cereal in his milk. It's just, but he's allergic to cereal. It's like a hot mess. That boy is a hot mess. So we're just gonna write as I go, otherwise I will forget what I needed. And then this is just like a cleaning checklist because I don't really assign a day to cleaning because I know if I do, like I won't do it. So, um, here I'm going to put Gotham's medication. Um, Gotham is my son's middle name. Yes, it was my husband's choice. So, Gotham meds. I should create an icon for that. And then I also want to track or keep track of me moisturizing my skin. Because when I was pregnant, I have psoriasis and eczema, same as my son. And my whole family has it pretty much. And I have to moisturize my face daily because that's where it's at worst. But um, when I was pregnant, I didn't have that problem. And now that I'm not pregnant anymore, it's back. So I have to always like be on top of it. Now, I really don't know what else I want to put here. I don't know if maybe I want to track dinners, but I didn't pull out another... I didn't pull out another... Um, like Oh! I have a checklist one two three four five it only has six though i guess it doesn't matter now i'm not gonna track dinners because i don't even eat dinner every day if ever i'm more of a one meal a day kind of person and i tend to eat lunch and then i don't eat anymore which is bad but oh i could track youtube we can do that i don't really have a youtube sticker though Alright, let's, let's figure this out. Alright, we're going to put another strip of washi down. And I don't even know what way this goes. I don't think it really matters. So. It probably goes this way. No, I don't really care. Alright, so we're going to put this down after we wipe that out, which I always forget to do. So me and my husband, or my husband and I, he always corrects me. We're gonna, we've been watching um, all the Marvel movies like in order, except Hulk, because uh, unless they remake Hulk with Mark Ruffalo or Ruffalo, Ruffalo, whatever, I am not going to be watching it. So 
we've been watching all of them and now we're back to infinity war which we've already seen twice but we're gonna watch it again we've seen it twice in theaters and now we're just gonna watch it at home um and then after that i feel like we need to watch all the dc but dc don't have it together like marvel does and we love doing those movie marathons i'm not a big movie person i might have said that before in a previous video but i don't really watch tv and i barely watch movies like my husband has to beg me to watch movies at most maybe i'll watch like a documentary i don't think a whole clipboard is gonna fit i'm gonna get this one because it's cute it's pink so we're just gonna kind of line it up to this washi down here so yeah so i don't know where i was going with that yeah so the only time the only way you can get a me to watch a movie is pretty much by saying hey let's watch a marathon and then i'll just watch a marathon then, right i won't watch movies but i'll marathon them i don't know how that makes sense in my brain but that's somehow i don't really like these bows let me see i pulled out these from these are from clever gal crafts they're like they were like a freebie and i pretty much almost use them i love these like with no foil i think she just came out or well it's been a while already but she came out with them like this like naked or something like that that she said i'm not really sure but i think i'm just gonna grab this pink one and like cover this ugly part of the clipboard thing and that's for youtube i should probably find like a youtube sticker and put it on the side or something but later later so let's put our full boxes down where are my full boxes here they are so hmm let's open this up and see where we're at but I do, I don't know, like, it's not like I hate television. Well, I do hate television, I guess. But my coworkers are always talking about, like, television shows. Sorry, I'm just kind of figuring out. I'm just, I think I'm going to put this here because it's, like, a quote. And these are not pull-up friendly, like, at all. And I'm just going to, are these meant to, like, take up the whole box? I think so. No, they're not. They're just like wider than I've never used one of these on um in my Erin Condren. I've only ever used these in like um my B6. So anyway, so we have like two with like white and then two. We're gonna spread these out on Tuesday. So it's not like I really hate TV. My coworkers are always like, oh, this show and that show. And I'm just like, I can't get caught up in a show because I have so many hobbies and I'm such a busy person by nature because since I write comic books and I'm an artist and I like, I do like to play video games. I guess that's my guilty pleasure. Like I love video games. I used to make video games, like, you know, little ones, obviously not like an RPG maker, but because I have so much going on, I can't just get into shows. Like I kind of had to sacrifice television, <laughs> if that's really a sacrifice, to to deal with my hobbies. And aside from like you know being a normal wife, I guess cooking and cleaning and all that jazz. Like something had to go, and it was like television. I used to watch television a lot when I was a little kid, but because we always had TVs in our room. I don't even my son has a tv in his room my son is only four months and he has like a 55 inch flat screen in his room but that's only because when my husband and i lived separately um before we got married i had my house and he had his house and then you know we got together i think a lot of these are crooked but whatever so i do like to use today headers for the top if i don't use glitter headers which i'm not um in this spread she does have these and i don't know why i like this font i do like these like fonts that kind of look like written on a chalkboard type of thing and we're just going to put the today headers on top because that's what makes the most sense to me right because today you're starting at the top right so i'm not sure how she has them spread out pink she also has these say monday through sunday and then the weekend but like they're too thin to take up that space and so we're not going to use those 
I don't know if we should wipe these out because these are kind of like smaller than I don't know that's fine oh it was blue first oh whatever I think I made a mistake let's pull that one up Yeah, these stickers, I don't know how I feel about this sticker paper. It's like thick, but it's not very forgiving as far as like putting it back down. At least when I've used them in my B6, like if I peel it up and I try to put it back down, it curls, like it doesn't really stick again. Which I guess can be said about like any sticker paper, but I hate that. Whatever, that's just, that's just how it's gonna have to be. And then, I don't remember what I was talking about. I never remember what I was talking about. All right, I don't want to color block because that's always a mission for me. So I'm just gonna, just gonna, oh, what am I doing? I'm gonna put glitter headers down there and then I'm gonna put to-do on the bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the to-dos in the bottom. I sometimes put like the little things on top of the boxes um just because i either put glitter or i put little things on the boxes it's, it's a box obviously you're not gonna really get to put anything in there some people do but i don't always do that and then um oh, i forgot what i was gonna say so this will be like my to-do section i don't really plan chronologically because it i'm very you know, like my to-do section has to be my to-do section. My today section has to be the today section. So I'm not like the kind of person that can plan chronologically, I guess. Unless I'm like using glitter headers, maybe. Maybe I could have pulled some, but I didn't. I don't think I've really found my planning style. Um, I got a neutral for next year because I hate, like... I don't hate is a strong word. I dislike the colors because I don't always use colors that like match. You know, like this is blue. And now I have these blue sprinkled crap everywhere. So we're going to use glitter headers for the middle. This video is going to be like forever. A million hours long. So I pulled these and I don't know where it's from. I know it's from like a freebie and I just cut it out because I have my stuff stored in binders and it's stored like... You know headers glitter headers arrows whatever the hell so um it's darker than it's like more this color but since there's only one today header with that color i was gonna pull more in so i went ahead and pulled these and also just because i kind of want to get rid of them <laughs> so we're gonna just put these on the top of all the full boxes and um so this planner was originally supposed to be like a memory planner and I don't know what happened to my memory, but after I had a baby, I don't have a memory for crud. I don't know if it's just me or if everyone is like that. These are a little bit shorter than the actual, so I don't know if... I don't even remember where these are from. But whatever, we'll make it work. So, yeah. But, um... I don't know, I, I can't, I don't really have time to sit every single day to plan because I have too much to do. So I don't know if memory planning like day by day works for me and or if I should just write everything down on my phone that I want to like, you know, memory keep, I suppose, like scrapbook and then sit down like one day and do that. I'm not sure what everyone else does, but I don't know. So for now, I'm just kind of using this as like an everyday planner like overall and then my b6 i sort of use as like around the house like dinner and chores and baby stuff and then i do have another b6 for planner society that i use only work like um you know i have a job where i have several clients to see a day sometimes i can see up to 80 clients in a day sometimes it's only one sometimes it's none so it's like hectic so i use a planner so i can remember clients all right so yeah my son was like he was waking up he was just battling on but he was he's watching steven universe which is probably not a great thing that he watches tv so early where are my scissors oh there it is it's probably not the best thing that he watches tv but sometimes sometimes you have no other choice i mean 
I'm just gonna cut these down to three if I can. All right. Yeah, and these four we can save. This is from a rock paper rock paper stickers. I don't really know what kit. I think it was like a March. I'm gonna turn this to the side just because it's the easiest way for me to put these down without like completely destroying my life. Yeah, because I'm usually out on the field at work. These I will use work because I don't use checklists for like my daily chores because I put my chores here. Well, I guess I do use a checklist, but it's in the sidebar. Um, these I use for work, these to-dos, at least the checklist to-dos because I like to remind myself when I look in my planner, what I, I mean, I do have a work planner, but it's at work, so. I like to remind myself um, a day in advance at home, so before I go to sleep, I'll look at it and I can just think about what I'll be doing the next day and sort of mentally prepare while I'm asleep. Um, I am a lucid sleeper, so I always know when I'm sleeping and I don't really dream very often or at least I don't have dreams that I can't control. So when I am sleeping, I tend to be thinking about the next day and what needs to be done so that I can have like a plan of action. Yeah, I know I'm weird, but anyway. So those are done. Yeah, I much prefer three heart checklists because it's a, if I have the whole to-do section with checklists, I can't like put in like last, I don't know, it's just, it makes me more comfortable this way. And I don't always use full boxes, but um, since I don't really know what I'll be doing and I don't think this week is like, like you know, full of things to do, I think I'm safe. I did pull like a weekend banner, but I don't know if I like it. Oh, this is the weekend banner I pulled. This is like a freebie from somewhere or... And I don't know why. I think it's because it has palm trees that I thought it would be fine. So I'm just going to put it... Even though I don't think it's perfect. But I feel like if I don't use it in this, I'm never going to use it. So I'm just going to put it down here. And that is my computer. Sorry. Yeah, it's super crooked. But taking a sticker off a sticker... Oh, hey, it's actually working out. Huh, ah, it's not so bad. It's not terrible. All right, so I forgot what I was saying, but yeah. So I'm gonna put down these, ha these like um, hydrate trackers. I do like to put a hydrate tracker every day because when I was pregnant, and I'm sorry if I say that a lot, it's just like fresh because he's only four months, but um, I had hyperemesis, and if you don't know what that is, that's like excessive vomiting, so I was um, receiving nutrition through IV pretty much 24-7, I couldn't drink or eat anything, like nothing, mine was, my case was very severe, um, we came pretty close to dying, both me and the baby, so um, I, since then I have not drank any water, like I've had Gatorade and stuff like that, but I'm so traumatized with water because I was throwing up clots of blood that I just don't drink water anymore. So I have to remind myself to drink at least a small cup of water, but it's my goal to get back to drinking eight glasses of water a day. So I'm gonna put these down just so that, I have been putting them down every week and unfortunately they have been empty just because I can't bring myself to drink it and I'm actually still, um, uh, four months po postpartum, I'm actually still vomiting, which is rare, but it happens. So I'm like a little scared to drink water, but I have to. So I keep putting them down in the hopes that I'll drink water. And these are too cute to waste. So this will be like my last, <laughs> I need to drink water before they have to give me another IV because I really don't want to have to go for an IV drip just because I'm not drinking water. I mean, before I couldn't, but now I can, so... So I'm gonna put these down every day and let us hope that all of these are checked by the end of the, the week. I actually made hydrate trackers from my shop, but these match better and I actually love these. So, all right, so those are down and I have a little sliver of space. Um, so if anything comes up at work, I can mark it in like, you know, sometimes what I do at work is provide meals and activities for senior citizens in my city. So 
sometimes there's an issue with the food like maybe maybe it's too salty so we have to call the kitchen and make sure that they fix the issue and all that jazz so that's basically I'm gonna leave that space because sometimes we have issues with the kitchen and then this today is basically a to do but it's for to do in my like you know the other half of my life where I'm not in my nine to five so I think I should put in my cleaning schedule in here and I am using this pen I don't know if I mentioned that because it came with the kit so it matches and it is gel the only thing I the only qualm I have with this pen is that you can't like put the top on the back and I will lose it like I will always lose it or my cats won't get a hold of it so this important is basically a cleaning checklist so it's not any specific day I just kind of put down things that need to be cleaned and I just check it off as I do it no uh no thought to this And this one, I'm just gonna leave blank for now because I don't know, like I know it's YouTube, but I don't know exactly what I'll be posting. So let me pull my pre-planning sheet, which I don't know what I did with. Oh, it's right here. All right. And I'm gonna start planning day by day. So I know that at work, I'm going to go out in the field which means I'm gonna go to site and I have two places to go. And I'm just gonna put in my appointments um, for work for the whole week so that I know. And this is actually a giant piece of photo paper, by the way, underneath my planner, because my desk is black. And my son is whining for some reason. And I actually noticed that I just put checklists on the weekends, but that's all right, because I can just always put like household chores type of stuff in there. And, um, on Thursday, we have at work a senior party, so I actually do want to mark that. And a senior party, we have a senior party every month, and it's basically exactly what it is, what it sounds like, a, a, just a party that um, the senior citizens can enjoy. I don't know if I want to put this, to, yeah, yeah, we'll put that down. It's just a party for them so they can, you know, meet other seniors from other lunchrooms and just have a good time together. I don't know if I should put a heart on top of a heart. I feel like that's a little counterproductive because we have pink here and green here. And this isn't the exact pink, but this isn't the exact green. So I think, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. We do have this sheet that has like the icons. We do have a little gift, which kind of makes sense because we have raffles and gifts for them when they go. And I'm assuming it's like an Independence Day party. And I think I have a sticker that says, I'll look for it, but I do have a sticker that says Senior Party. So I'm just gonna put that there so I don't have to like destroy my planner with my handwriting. And so I won't be going out in that field because obviously all the sites, will, well obviously not to you guys probably, but all the seniors will be in the party so there will be no one to assess no one to evaluate in the in the lunch rooms so yeah sorry if I'm like all over the place anyway let's go back and start planning now that we have all my appointments down let's gonna go back and then we're gonna start planning for Monday so other than this I don't really have anything planned for Monday so that's pretty much that was my upstairs neighbor gonna leave it blank so on the 10th Tuesday is my husband's cousin's birthday. I highly doubt we're gonna go to his house or anything because I don't think they do anything for his birthday. But either way, I want to mark it just in case. My husband is terrible when it comes to like family. He never 
like I basically have to beg him to go and visit his family so we're just gonna use this box and I'm gonna probably put like a heart I don't know where I want to put it. We'll just put it in the top corner. But and here we're gonna put birds. I feel like I'm scared to do hand lettering. Whatever. It's not cute, but it is what it is. My my son is like whining now. I don't know. If I don't know why so that's Tuesday and I want to make sure I mark it so that I can at least send him a happy birthday message all right sorry had to go check on my son not that you'll notice for you it will be like the blink of an eye but I had to give him his reflux medication so he has to eat in an hour and in a minute when I'm done videoing videoing recording this I'm gonna go and spend some time with him so Tuesday is the 10th and it is my husband's cousin's birthday and it's also my husband has a doctor's appointment so I'm going to try and pull well try no I'm going to pull a um, sort of like a stethoscope if I can find one he was in the hospital recently for congestive heart failure. Um, he thought it was pneumonia and for three months, three weeks he was sort of just having trouble breathing and he had a nebulizer at home. And and uh, when we went in the hospital, they said, you know, it might be pneumonia, but it doesn't look like, it looks like it's something else. And then he ended up staying in the hospital because it turned out that his heart was failing him. And his body started to shut down and he was already turning yellow and it was very, very, very scary. He's only 39. And, um, and unfortunately that is exactly how his father died. His father went into the hospital uh, with congestive heart failure and he just never came out. So we were all very, very scared, especially with the baby. So, um, now he has an appointment with a cardiologist to check. Was terrible so I'm gonna write wipe that out and rewrite it because because no but um yeah I was like so scared he didn't seem so scared but I think he was but we'll see they did give him like a life vest that he needs to wear um you know it shocks his heart if his heart rate gets like irregular unfortunately my husband is very hard-headed and he doesn't wear it but you know, I play the wife card and the baby card and I saw him please wear it and we'll see how he pulls through. Okay, this is turning out worse. So we're gonna find a piece of like white space and we're gonna try and um we're gonna try and see if we can solve it to this situation right here. Or we can actually put one of these boxes. It has a heart on it, so the irony is not, uh, I am not above irony. And it's another heart. Well, other way, we're going to cover the heart. But we're going to put this stethoscope. Stethoscope, right? I don't know. And we're just, we're just going to leave it at that because... I'm not going to keep messing it up with my terrible handwriting. And Wednesday, I do not know what I will be doing. We don't really have plans. We're not those people. We tend to stay home, and our baby is too young, and he has too many problems, and he can't get sun. So, um, yeah. So we're pretty much stay home kind of people. And obviously, by the time I get home from work, it's kind of dark already, so not much can be done. So Thursday tends to be my laundry day. I like to... I like to do laundry on Thursdays because I don't want to have to deal with it in the weekend and I am never going to be that person that does laundry and then puts it away same day. So here's the plan. We are going to do some layering because I'm a daredevil and that's just how I roll. 
and all right so and we have these little asterisk stickers asterisk asterisk stickers from i think it's from hello petite paper and we're gonna pick two pink ones and drop those babies oh, here no here because as i was saying i am never going to be that person that does their laundry and puts them away puts away the clothes it's just not me so i have to actually put in that i have to fold and put away the clothes usually we dig out of the basket we're those kind of people so here i'm just gonna write laundry and then fold and put away and then I do want to film my plan with me in this day or the next day not for the next day for the next week and I do have these stickers that I made for myself but I don't feel like any of them really match like I feel like there's too much green and these are like matte and these are glossy. So, hmm. I'm like suffocating. Should I put this glitter? Let's just throw caution to the wind. We're gonna go ahead and use this YouTube sticker that I made for myself. And that is for the B6 plan with me. And now I don't know what I did with my pet. It's like literally right here. It's literally right there. But this is for a B6 plan with me. I didn't want to write it in, but that seems to be what we're doing today. Senior party. And I'm not sure what I'll be doing that day in the office. More than likely, I'll be working on something. And then on Friday is my cousin's birthday. My cousin's birthday this time. So we're gonna get another half box. And I don't know why I feel like using this one. I don't know why, but that's what we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna pull this one in. And I'm gonna put a little bit low. I know for sure that we won't be doing anything because I don't think he lives, I don't even know where he lives. He, I know he's my cousin and that's me, but I wanna say that he lives in Naples, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I wanna use a bow for him though. I know this green is not like the perfect green, but I feel like I wanna use it anyway. And I'm gonna put in his birthday. So that I can at least message him and feel, tell him, wish him a happy birthday. And I don't have anything planned for the weekend. So that's pretty much it. You know what? I should mark my son's bath time. He doesn't take a bath every day because his skin, um, because of the eczema and all the allergies he has, he has very, very dry skin and it tends to crack and bleed. And unfortunately, he's allergic to every cream every single cream every medicated cream every cream every natural cream we've tried everything we've tried teas we've tried everything and the doctors just said um don't bathe him every day because it, dry, it dries out his skin and they gave us this kind of steroid cream which is common to subs to subscribe to prescribe to babies but it does have steroids in it so we're only allowed to use it you know we're not allowed to use it as needed it's kind of used only you know as a treatment so because he has such dry skin, I can't give him a bath every day. And unfortunately, he's also allergic to all the soaps. Even the unfragrant hypoallergenic soaps, he's also allergic to those. And um, so we give him a bath with a non-fragrance, all-natural hypoallergenic soap. But that soap, he has a reaction to. But um, it's kind of like a, we're going to have to deal with it. And um, he gets, you know, dry and itchy and 
it's an unfortunate fact of life for him until he hopefully grows out of those allergies and it's very sad that you know he has to be all itchy because he does it does hurt him which hurts me obviously but hopefully he will grow out of it and I have tried everything I have tried like natural oils we've tried teas we've tried you know herbs we've tried lotion we've tried everything everything the doctor has said every type of holistic people have said everything literally everything Cetaphil everything um, but if you have any suggestions like if your kids went through that by all means let me know what you think I can do for him but I'm pretty sure we've tried everything there is possibly to give him and he has a reaction to everything anyway sort of mini rant um, yes yeah, so I was gonna mark his bath times we don't really give I think I don't know what I want to mark it with I feel like a heart would be like kind of a no-brainer I have a whole lot of different greens going on here which is kind of funny we can use these like light pink hearts even though there's one right there but whatever so I think I might want to put that in a box here they are we're just gonna use these smaller boxes and I'm gonna give him a bath on Monday and we're just gonna put it in the bottom because that's kind of like the end of day kind of thing before he um, goes to bed. I'm gonna write on this one before I put it down because that coil is like the devil. Why did I try to put that down with my hand? I don't even know. And I'm gonna finish. I'm probably not gonna edit this today, but um, I guess I want to go spend time with my son and make his um, food. I do make his food. He's um, he just started purees, and since he has such strict food, like he has food allergies, like a lot of them, so they're very strict on what we can feed him. So I have to make everything at home from scratch. Like I can't buy the bottled, you know. Anyways, so ah. It's not writing. So, oh great, the sticker just broke. It's just not my, it's not my night. All right, so that one. All right, so that is pretty much it for this week. I am gonna make myself some rose, um, some rose foiled, rose gold foiled date dots so that I can put in here. But um, you can follow my Instagram and you'll see like the finished spread and with the date dots and all that jazz. And I'll probably take some snapshots at the end of the week of this week so that I can you know put in anything that was left behind. So I'm gonna go through the kit now. So you can see what is left. Here we just have the hearts and the checklists. Some, you know, the, the week, days of the week, and then pretty much all deco. I rarely ever use deco. So these half boxes and stuff, which this page I'm gonna leave in here because I most likely use it um, throughout the week. And these check boxes and some check flags and these hearts on the bottom. So that is all guys i hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy please hit that like button and that subscribe button if you want to see some more and uh, i will see you guys again real soon